What's up folks? Figured I'd take a few minutes to show everybody what's in my road bag. Uh, this is what I carry in my pack whenever I go on walkabouts and things of that nature. Whenever I just feel like getting away and hitchhiking or uh, hitting the woods a couple of weeks, a couple of months, a year, I don't care, whatever. And uh, this is what pretty much goes with me all the time. Um, there are a few items if I know where I'm going and it's not feasible or logical to bring certain items, uh, I won't. You know, I'm not going to get caught in New Jersey with, for example, a slingshot because a slingshot is against the law in Chicago and New Jersey. Uh, arrows, carrying them not out of hunting season is against the law in quite a few states, uh, which is why I got the three-piece takedown arrows and I don't keep tips on them. Uh, they're pretty much not functional unless I put them together and uh, put tips on them. Uh, I bought those from uh, Wilderness Outfitters and I'm sorry, no, the Pathfinder School LLC dot com, uh, Dave Canterbury store. Anyway, uh, without further ado, let's get to the goodies. Uh, first you'll notice what's obviously missing from my pack and that is a sleeping bag. Um, spring, summer, and fall, I hardly ever carry a sleeping bag. Um, the reason being is it just takes up extra room and I don't really need it. What I do carry is this OD Green uh, 9010 wool blanket um, and a black sheet. Um, with my sleep system, which I will get to in a minute, that's pretty much all I need. Um, and if it gets too cold, I can use a, a disposable space space blanket to keep warm. Uh, now, I'm not saying that's always. I mean, if I'm going up north or going up into the high mountain country, I, I will bring a sleeping bag and I'll even pack a tent. Speaking of tents, notice I do not have a tent. No tent. That's because I use one of those reusable $20 space blanket tarps for a tent. That's my preferred shelter. Um, it's in this bag right here, which I also bought this little kit from the Pathfinder School LLC. It's um, It comes with a space blanket, the reusable space blankets, uh, two 55 gallon drum liners, big trash bags, heavy duty trash bags. Uh, some bank line, tarred bank line, and a couple of tent, uh, I think it came with like six tent stakes, but I only use four of them. I'll leave the other two back home. Tent stakes can be made in the woods. They're not needed, but they don't weigh anything, so I just carry them anyway. Uh, they can also be fashioned into a weapon if I need to. So, anyway, uh, that's my cover. Along with my sleep system, which is the wool blanket and the black sheet. I picked black because black absorbs heat. Uh, if you ever wear a black ball cap out, you'll understand what I mean. Okay, moving on. Uh, military style. Uh, this actually came from military surplus. Canteen co uh, cover, pouch, canteen, and smart water bottle. The Glacio Smart Water Bottle. I bought that at Walmart for like $1.49 or something. It's 33.8 ounces. The plastic is thick and it holds 33 ounces of water. Almost 34 ounces of water. It's skinny. It fits perfectly in my pack and where I put it at. Um, yeah, don't throw those away. Those are awesome. Better than a Gatorade bottle. And this is my cook system. Of course, my hobo stove with two tent pegs for the rack, canteen cup, and this is a Lincoln wherever skillet. You may recognize it from Waffle House. 
This is what they make the omelets in. Shh, don't tell nobody. And the other part of my cook system is the stainless steel water bottle. Um, it's actually, all of this is actually more than what I need. Uh, I can actually get away with just the stainless steel water bottle uh, and the smart water bottle. Uh, water filter. This is a Frontier Pro straw type water filter. Uh, it was like 20 bucks and it cleans, uh, I don't remember, I think 100 quarts of water or something like that, which is plenty because I don't use it all the time. I boil water, filter it through bandanas. I have three of them. One's really big and then two regular size ones. So I don't really use my uh, water filter too much. Also, I have water purification tablets, the hydrochloride tablets. And um, I'm out, but I usually carry uh, uh, iodine 2% ten, uh, tincture and uh, potassium permanganate. So, uh, clean water that way. Um, let's see. This is uh, just a skull cap and a boonie mosquito net. This is my first aid kit. It's not very big. Don't need to be. I'm going to break down a lot of these things in this uh, bag one at a time and show you what all I keep in it. But just some bandages, aura gel, uh, neosporin. Uh, I bought a suture kit off of eBay from some like a vet service or something like that. It was like $3. It has, uh, I think, 12 stitches in it if I ever need it for a big cut or something. But it's a good investment, three bucks. Rat trap, you gotta catch food sometimes. Works great on squirrels and birds as well as rats and mice. Uh, this is my fire kit. Um, this is just a, a pellet container that's packed with uh, dryer lint and Vaseline. Dryer lint works wonders for fires. Of course, some big lighters, a nine volt, ba uh, yeah, nine volt battery and steel wool magnifying glass that I almost just broke. Uh, waterproof matches also have some spare needles in there. Magnesium uh, fire block candle, and it all goes in that Ziploc bag. Uh, plenty of ways to make a fire. And there's also, you know, primitive fire, various methods that I know how and will use to make primitive fire, uh, two sticks, you know. Um, some repel, mosquito repellent. I don't usually use this. In fact, it's probably still full. Um, I try to use, if I'm in the desert areas, I use mesquite bush. And if I'm anywhere else in the United States, I try to use wax myrtle to repel mosquitoes. Um, emergency radio uh, don't really need that it just comes in handy sometimes binoculars gloves TP um, knives okay I used to carry a machete uh, because it was just very handy and I liked it made me feel like Rambo but a lot of places you can't have a machete for some reason now it's considered a knife and it's too big fortunately hatchets are not outlawed in most places so I carry a hatchet now which you can see it's brand new I've only used it a couple of times out in the backyard uh, Smith's coarse and fine diamond blade knife sharpener a file for my hatchet a Baco Laplander saw this thing is worth its weight in gold um, one another one of those twenty dollar products that you will not regret. Oh my God, making primitive shelter. That's it. Um, this is the uh, Mora Mora knife 2.0. It's a little bitty knife. I use that as a uh, backup and for small carving. This is the Mora. Classic number two. It's the biggest blade on the classic series. Uh, it's like four inches or four and an eighth, something like that. It's real thick. 
um, I actually baton wood with this. Uh, that's a case I made, a leather case I made. Uh, fire steel, Swedish fire steel. Um, okay, cordage. Way more cordage than what the average person needs, but I like to make things. So I bring a lot of cordage. This is paracord. You've heard everything about that. Zip ties, bank line, um, um, I can't think of the name of it. Uh, anyway, that stuff, fish and twine, and a ton of duct tape. This is God's gift to man. Duct tape. That's Gorilla Tape on top and regular duct tape on bottom. Flashlights. Um, p -tech hand flashlight. And it, that sucker's bright. Uh, p -tech headlamp. It's bright. It has the red light for at night and a low and a high setting. None of the flash, flashing lights or anything like that. Um, these are snares. Um, I don't use them very much. I have used them and I have caught small game. Uh, rabbits and a possum. Uh, but I do carry them anyway. Uh, spare band for my slingshot. Uh, spare eyeglasses. I wear glasses. So you break a pair beyond repair. Uh, they're good to have. Um, these are just uh, face, uh, I mean, uh, safety glasses. I also have a pair of uh, prescription safety sunglasses that I carry with me all the time. I don't carry a lot of food with me because um, there's food everywhere. Um, I've never gone hungry. I, I mean, I've gone a day or two without food, but I've never gone hungry. Cliff bars, summer sausage, coffee. What else do you need? Ramen noodles. About it. Um, some books, a journal, notebook. Um, this is my solar charger. It's Power Curve. I paid. This is probably the most expensive thing in here. I paid forty dollars for this at um, Academy, but it comes with all the little hookups for almost any device you can think of, and it stores power as well as charges on the fly. So I can charge my device or devices and charge the solar charger that way if I'm in a situation where I need to charge and there's no sun it's raining whatever I can just plug it in and rejuice my stuff double-a uh, AAA batteries iPhone this is not connected to a network anymore <clears throat> I use this only it's like an iPod I use this for music I use it for uh, 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 an app called Maps With Me, um, which is offline maps. I don't have to have any type of Wi-Fi connection at all to use it. I just download what I need or what I want, and that's it. Um, I can also, of course, store images from Google Earth and stuff like that whenever I do have Wi-Fi. That's my Nexus 7. That's I don't even own a uh, tablet. I mean, yeah, a tab, uh, laptop anymore. I don't have one. I just use my Nexus 7 and the iPhone. Um, deck of cards. Everybody knows those come in handy. Uh, some little small notebooks, composition books. Um, I know quite a few medicinal, edible mushrooms, trees. I know quite a few things to eat and stuff. Uh, I don't know everything and uh, an old boat captain once told me you're either green and growing or you're brown and dying. So every time I can run across something um, to help me grow more in the woods, I do. <clears throat> this is the Harley Davidson Club Touring Handbook. This one is from 2002. They make them every year. So I do need to get a newer updated one. Now, that's my atlas. And there's a reason for that because it's better than a regular atlas. It shows you campgrounds and things, not just in the United States, like here's Michigan, but it shows you campgrounds and meeting points and places that are sometimes very remote. So, see all those red spots? Those are Harley-Davidson Harley shops. 
So you can go in there and find campgrounds if you can't find one. Sometimes you can find very hidden campgrounds. So that's why I use this. Um, if you can get your hands on one, get it. And underneath is one of those Mexican uh, like ponchos that don't have the hood on it. But I use this as a schmog and as an extra cover, as a drape, as a cape. Um, I use it to dry off after bathing in the river somewhere. So, um, this is my dry bag for my clothes, which that's another thing I'll break down later. I use, uh, I keep t shirts, a pair of shorts, I keep uh, 511, 511 tactical pants, and a long sleeve shirt in there as well as well as two pairs of wool socks. One is 100% wool, one is a wool blend, and a pair of regular cotton socks, and a pair of dress socks to put on as a base coat for socks. Um, but I'll break that down later. Um, and this bag is just all kinds of uh, knick-knack stuff. There's little bottles of bleach in there, cooking oil, peroxide, uh, Vaseline, um, lip balm, you know you don't want chap lips uh, compass to hang from my pack compass to go in my pack uh, slingshot ammunition and that's pretty much it as well as the stuff I carry with me all day every day on a regular basis buck folding knife uh, more a classic number one neck knife which my lanyard is off of it right now this is a uh, Mula Calibri very thick knife as you can see it's very short but it's stainless steel and I baton with it and I love it uh, Leatherman Wave uh, multi-tool which has been my favorite. I threw away, well, I gave away my Gerbers. Uh, another knife sharpener, thermometer, compass. This compass sucks. It's off by about 15 degrees with a whistle. And that is my go everywhere bag. Uh, like I said, sometimes a few of these things do come out. Uh, sometimes more things go in, various food and stuff. Um, now, all this is my travel bag. If I want to make this a, what the doomsday preppers call a bug out bag, I only add one thing to it. That. Ruger 1022 modded out, uh, plenty of ammunition, scope, so forth and so on. Other than that, that stays home. This goes on the road. Oh, and that's my pack. Uh, it's not the best pack. It's a redhead that I got from Bass Pro Shop with a gift card that I'd gotten for Christmas. Um, and it breaks down into two packs, which is why I got it. But it's not. Uh, it doesn't have a frame, internal or external. So I'm in the process of trying to figure out how to make a frame for it. Uh, and Ranger beads that I made. But that's just for show. I don't even use them. Anyway, so that's it. That's everything. Um, any questions, comments, love to hear from you. Peace out.